my journey into the paranormal has taken me on some of the most extraordinary adventures I could possibly imagine. From the curious to the hysterical to the downright bizarre. There were even times when I found it hard to believe what I was seeing with my very own eyes. And that was the dilemma that faced me on my very first ghost hunt. By 11.30, the ghost watch was in full swing. All the potential ghostly locations were being monitored, and in the control room, we didn't have long to wait before the appearance of our first orb. Ready, 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 ready. I'm gonna come across this way. Now they're moving. They're moving. Oh my God! Was it two? Was it two? Do it again. There you go. One, two. It's, it's got direction. prominent direction. movement. Yeah. It came in a direction and then turned the corner Death and came direction. round. So that is prominent movement, you see. That is, yeah. a, that is a ghost, a spirit, first stage manifestation. So it's certainly not something you see every day. What a great start to my first ghost hunt. But nothing could have prepared me for our seance with Medium Sandy. I was intrigued and excited, but accepting the orbs as ghosts required a leap of faith, and I still wasn't sure whether there are any spirits in the pub besides the ones behind the bar. Hello, can you hear me? Can you tell us your name, please? You're not quite in yet. No, he's not in yet. He's he, he not in yet. Just give him Lulu speak. Hello, Lulu. Hello. Are you all right, darling? Yeah. Who's coming through, do you know? I don't know yet. All give right. Chance. Sandy had right, begun by channeling Lulu, one of her spirit guides. Apparently, Lulu is in fact Princess Louise, one of Queen Victoria's daughters. Spirit guides are said to help other spirits speak through the medium, and tonight it appeared that someone who knew the twins was trying to come through. I always still come here. Did you? Did you come here a lot? I used to come here a lot, yeah. Can you remember, or did you ever hear about the two little girls that were locked away upstairs? They're little. Yes. They're ones with um, difficulty. Yes. Did you ever see them? Sometimes. Can you tell me what happened to them? Beaten. Tortured. Till they had got red wheels on their Well, I think that will be enough for anyone, but oh no, I had to push for more. Look what happened next. Are you a male spirit? It's tilted. Yeah. I don't know whether it's completely elevated or it's... Yes, like Sandra, you've got to get to the nuts. Hey, hey. Oh, look at that. <laughs> My goodness. I can feel it with this. The table was thrashing about in a pretty spectacular way. I couldn't wait to join in. Yeah, look what happened when I did. Though the table had been jumping around all over the place, it stopped as soon as I walked into the room. What did I do? Was there something about me? So, uh, Angela's arranged to meet me at this pub in North London. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the connection between ghosts and pubs is, but it suits me fine. Um, I think she's in here. Thank you. If you're happy, we're going to get started straight away and we're going upstairs. To 
Angela was clearly excited, but she wasn't going to tell me what we were looking for. I was going to have to try and find out who was haunting this pub on my own. I had an image of like running about, like long swishy skirt when running about. Could you just say, please would you give me your name? Okay, if anyone's here, please would you give me your name? I keep thinking about like little That's and, fine. and, That's and great. so I guess That's child great. Or, or very small. I don't know. No, but no, there's no. a kind of there is a kind of childlike running about y sort of exuberant <laughs> feeling in this hall. <laughs> Definitely was the only image I had, like I said, was the skirt, so I'm thinking that That's the female funny. energy was... What you've done is you've called in to this little girl who's going around swishing in her skirt and running up and down because there's a good reason that she's still here in this time zone. before I even had moved in here. And I was just sitting in a chair here and just turned around and there was a little girl just running up and down this corridor. Really? And I just thought, who's she? <laughs> and it was a proper little little girl. Solid. Solid little creature, you know, so high with a little white dress on. Little, very <sighs> Victoriana looking creature. Right. Very happy. So I just followed her, I came up here, followed her, and went down the corridor, and she just disappeared. My daughter sees has a little imaginary friend that really? we've never, I've never really gone into details with. <laughs> I just don't want to know. But does yeah. it seem to be very similar to the... Yeah, she says she's got a little friend, she says she comes every now and again and sees her, and then disappears. The problem with ghosts is, they're never around when you want them to be, or are they? Watch what happened when I went on my next ghost vigil with my psychic mentor, Angela. Look at my face. Angela had one last ploy to connect me with the ghost. Somehow, she was planning to take on its shape. Do what? There will be a potential change in your face, and you're probably going to say that something's changed in my face. That's really weird. That's really... Are you all right with it? It was really a sense of a larger... Person. Yeah, person, and, and more <laughs> clothes. And good heavens, it's happening again. So, um... Still coming through. Sorry, I've got a problem with my contact lens now. 